Welcome back to CoreCon today for May 16th, 2023. It's hard to believe we are halfway through May and there's a lot happening in the world of core cutting, including another cable TV company shutting down their TV service and going streaming only with a partnership with YouTube TV. We'll tell you who here in a minute. How many people should you expect leaving cable TV? We have a rough number to give you what you should expect. And Amazon is increasing the price of the Fire TV in select countries. We'll tell you where and by how much here in this video, along with a whole lot more. First though, hey, we have a big giveaway happening right now. If you want to win a 2022, the most recent Roku Ultra, uh, and a $100 Netflix gift card, or $100 in Hulu gift cards, and an antenna from Mohu, you get to pick the antenna, any Mohu branded antenna from their website, they'll ship it to you for free. One lucky person can win all of this. If you want to learn more, I'll put a link to the giveaway in the show notes down below. So with that said, hey, before we get into the stories, could you help me grow? Could you help me support my family? Do me a big favor. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up. Doing one or both lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. So YouTube recommends our videos to more people. Helping me grow, helping me support my family, I would really appreciate it. And hopefully we can help you break free from the high cost of cable TV and still watch the shows you enjoy. All right. One more cable TV company shutting down their service. This is WOW. Of course, they've all been renaming themselves. Anybody remember what Wild wow Cable was before it was Wild wow Cable? Well, they announced a deal with YouTube TV to replace its cable TV service. Now, unlike Frontier, who stopped selling its TV service and only now sells YouTube TV, its customers, if they wanted to, could stay with a legacy service. Now with Wow, Wow announced that through the summer, they are going to be transitioning all their customers over to YouTube TV as it shuts down its, quote, legacy TV service. It will stop immediately marketing it and will discontinue service. Now, they do say there will be a special promotional offer to move people over to YouTube TV and bill it through Wow. Um, I believe with other providers, they've offered like $10 off a month on similar type deals to encourage people to switch over to YouTube TV. This is increasingly a sign that many cable companies are just not seeing cable TV as profitable. If they saw this as a big profitable deal, they wouldn't be doing this. Exactly the, um, the financial terms of this deal haven't been announced. There's been reports with other providers that YouTube may be offering kind of a bounty for each subscription. They get us, uh, a little bit of money or maybe they get a little bit every month. We don't know, but there's obviously a reason here why WOW and other cable companies like Frontier and if I scroll down here, Sparklight Cable and more are all saying, hey, we're shutting down. Rather, we're going through YouTube TV or we're building our own Traditional cable TV is just not where profits are. So we'll see how long this lasts, but increasingly we're seeing companies either talk about doing something like this or actually doing it, including some companies that are in the top 10 largest um, cable TV providers in the United States. So how long until we see more cable companies shut down their TV service than ones that continue it? We're probably a long ways from Comcast or Spectrum doing that. They're still pretty large. But don't, don't think that it will never happen. It will not surprise me if in five years or so, cable TV is a thing of the past. We'll see, it could come faster. This is happening faster than I ever thought it would. So how many subscribers could uh, cable TV lose this year? Well, not counting this number because we didn't predict this, but according to Muffet Nathanson, which is a research group that studies cable TV and streaming, they say that uh, um, 900 and um, 930,000 over that canceled cable TV in the first quarter of 2023. Now, when you um, break that all down, that works out to be over 10,000 customers canceling cable TV every single day. Project this forward, and it works out to be roughly 9.3 million cable TV subscribers could cancel cable TV if Core cutting doesn't accelerate at all. It just stays at a constant pace through 2023. Would not surprise me at all if we hit 10 million new American households that cancel cable TV in 2023. If that happens, that is a staggering number of people that are canceling. Would not surprise me at all, at all if this happens. Could things change? Yes. We'll have to wait and see. Projected numbers are that. We're projecting numbers. But cable TVs are clearly on the decline with that. If you want to find out more about these stories, I'll put a link to both of them down there and all the stories I talk about in the show notes and in the first pinned comment. Let's keep moving along because we got a lot to talk about, including Amazon raising prices on the Fire TV sticks in Europe. In Europe, you're seeing about roughly a 10 euro jump on the price of Fire TVs out there. 
for the Fire TV sticks. Now, no word on US price hikes at this time, but they have started raising the prices in Europe, probably means at some point you're gonna see price hikes in other countries. Though pricing has always kind of been different per country for Fire TV devices. What's kind of weird here is traditionally, Amazon rarely raises their prices mid device year. So often what they do is they release a new device and at the time the new device comes out, that's when we get a price hike rather than raising it on an existing device. Will this happen in the United States or Canada or Australia? I don't know, possible. But for now, we can confirm that this is happening in um, Europe. And like I said, it's a kind of an unusual move because Amazon typically does not raise prices mid-cycle. Inflation and other factors could be a deciding factor here with this. Well, if you don't want to buy a Fire TV and you need TV and you don't want to buy it, the co-founder of Pluto TV has a new project where he wants to give away 500 thousand free TVs. These are smart TVs that you can use to watch content with them. The, there's a catch though. These TVs do come with a soundbar, which is pretty cool. Nice soundbar, nice big screen TV. And it comes with a second display on the bottom that will display kind of a news ticker feed and ads. And this is how they're going to make their money. They want you to um, take this free TV, watch it, and then watch the ads on the bottom. Now these ads will be tailored to you and your custom um, interests, and they will also be tailored to what's happening on the, the show you're watching. So it knows what program you're watching because it's linked to the TV, and it can use that information to deliver ads that they think will be relevant to you. You can imagine if you're watching a sporting event, you're gonna get sporting content. If you're watching maybe a bunch of car shows, maybe ads for car products and cars may pop up, for example, on it. And they hope that this will make it um, practical for you. There's been reports that a standard LED TV like this should last about 10 years. So that gives them a lot of time. Now, Roku, with just a few of their Roku ads on there and subscriptions, say they get about $40 per user per year. You can imagine with a whole lot more ads and always running that they, um, this tele company, which is again, run by one of the original founders of Blue TV, expects to make a lot more money with it. Now, if you want to get in on this, you can sign up right now to get added to the list of um, possible customers. You do need to fill out about a five minute survey, supply them a lot of information that they're going to use to decide if you're a good client for this or not. So check that out, link in the show notes down below. All right, Sling TV has a new deal for new subscribers. If you've been thinking about it and you missed out on the half off offer, it's gone, but they are offering the first month of Sling TV for just 30 bucks, which is less than half of what most live TV streaming services are now available for. Not all, but most are now over $60 a month. Now this is for the first month. After that, the price returns to $40 a month. If you wanna learn more about this, link in the show notes down below. They are discontinuing the um, $20 promotional offer. It's now $30, but it's still a good deal, especially if you have an antenna you can pair with Sling TV, making it one of the best deals in cord cutting right now. All right, if you miss Major League Baseball or, and you want MLB.TV and you're a T-Mobile customer, good news, they're gonna give you another chance to get MLB.TV for free for being a T-Mobile customer. Now, they offer this every year and they have for a while and they announced a new deal to offer this for the next foreseeable future. I forget how many years, but several years into the future. But now they are offering a couple things here. For one, Later this month, details in the show notes, you're gonna be able to sign up for MLB.TV if you're a T-Mobile customer, including T-Mobile Home Internet customers to get free out-of-market Major League Baseball games. Second, if you sign up for the new Go 5G Plus plans, they're gonna give you a $500, or excuse me, a $200 credit, I apologize. It's a 5G um, Plus plan, but it's a $200 credit that you can use towards any sports streaming service catches and details apply here. But if you're a sports fan, hopefully you could use this for like ESPN Plus. You're getting a basically a $200 gift card here. You can apply towards a sports streaming service. Check the link out in the show notes down below if you wanna learn more about this offer if you're a T-Mobile customer. But it's a pretty good deal because you also can get um, MLS Soccer. So if you're a big sports fan, you're from T-Mobile right now, you can get T-Mobile's uh, MLB.TV free again if you get it I'm um, starting up here real soon. You have a small window to claim that. Major League Soccer season pass and a $200 gift card for other sports streaming services if you get the right T-Mobile plan with that. 
So check that out, link in the show notes down below. Now I'm recording this on Monday. This news is probably broken. If it has, check out corecarsnews.com. But reportedly, Verizon will stop including Disney Plus with its new 5G plans this week. They're gonna roll out a new set of 5G plans that are gonna be called My Plan with a um, unlimited welcome and an unlimited plus option here. Now with this, you will no longer get the Disney bundle or Disney Plus free included for new subscribers. Reportedly, if you already have it, you will be able to continue to get it and continue to keep that offer as long as you don't change plans. But new customers will no longer get that. Instead, you'll be able to do add-ons. So for 10 bucks on top of your plan, you'll be able to do things like get 100 gigabytes of mobile hotspot data. Um, you'll be able to um, I'll get a $10 or get a credit through their My Disney account to subscribe to things like Disney Plus and other um, streaming services like Paramount Plus and more if you bill them through the Verizon account and a whole lot of other features. So basically what Verizon is saying here is we're going to release slightly cheaper reportedly plans and then we're going to take that and if you want, for 10 bucks, you can kind of pick and choose what benefits you want. You want an extra 100 gigabytes of hotspot data, that's 10 bucks a month. You want to sound for Disney Plus through our, um, our subscri Plus Play subscription service, that's another $10 and more. We'll have to wait for the full announcement. Like I said, because I'm recording this on Monday, I always record these kind of towards the end of the workday to post the next morning. This may have already been announced. It's reportedly releasing yes, or going to be announced yesterday to go in effect later this week. But check it out over at corecuttersnews.com. And of course, tomorrow I'll have full details. But again, if you reportedly are a current Verizon customer with the Disney Plus deal, you'll be able to keep it. But if you've been thinking about switching to them to get that deal, you may want to hurry because it sounds like they're still for a day or two going to continue to sell the old plans before these new plans roll out. You may want to check with Verizon if you've been thinking about it and you really want that free Disney Plus bundle or Disney Plus, depending on which plan you get, you may want to check that out. Well, there you go. That's the news of the day. I hope you have a fantastic week. It's Tuesday here. We'll be back tomorrow, Wednesday, for a core cutting today and a core cutting Q&A at 7 p.m. Eastern right here every Wednesday or most Wednesday was when I'm not traveling like I was last week. I'm here at Core Cards News' YouTube channel answering your core cutting questions for about an hour on the channel. So until then, take care, be safe. I'll see you all tomorrow.